Okay. So we're back. Playing Undertale. Yeah, it is. If you remember, right. there was a while ago where we were playing this game and then we went on our hiatus and we said, you know what, we're just going to take a break and stop all of our current games. And uh, yeah, this one got cut, but we are finally going to finish it after like six months. And also, yeah. this guy is terrifying. <laughs> He's what I imagine myself being like a Dairy Queen if I keep working there for more than three <laughs> years. <laughs> That's, it's just a scary thought. I mean, for a high school job, they're worse, I guess. Yeah, alright, so basically what we gotta do is we just gotta kill everyone. <laughs> we have 35 people left to kill. Yes, yeah, same. And now every time like an enemy thing pops up, it's like a smiley face. Like, oh cool, another kill. Oh, that's weird. I was you're just like slowly becoming a psychopath. Yeah. Pretty Why much. do you attack four times? Goodness. Um, it's the weapon we have on right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oof, that one wasn't the best. Wow. But it won. It did. <laughs> it's okay. Nice. You still obliterated one shot anyway. <laughs> um. So yeah. Anyway, the we were having a discussion. We may or may not have like started on the. A different save file. We may, we may or may not have wasted a little bit of time. It's, it's okay, okay though. Um, so Aiden, we we're talking about basically like the <laughs> which route each person on our channel would be, and I said Spencer's like the pacifist route because it's boring and uh, I don't yeah, know. he's just too nice to kill. I guess I don't even think that he did a genocide route. I think Spencer, Spencer like dealt ruin a little too much. <laughs> like a little mu too much more than Undertale, because in my opinion, it's in my opinion just a little, it's a little bit inferior, but to each their own. I, I guess. mean, we've already established this Spencer's a furry, so I think that might be why. That's fair. Monster Girl or something. I mean, there's Monster Girls in this one. Not as many. Well, I don't know. Die. One sixty-eight. Darn. <laughs> so. Since I, I think a better expansion of what that question is is like, what is our like D and D character type. alignment? Oh, uh, we should do D and D on the channel sometime. God, uh, that's a more long-winded thing than. You know who could be our our um, game master? Who? Hayden. No. Yeah. D and D sucks if your DM is bad. Hayden's, Hayden's been doing it for a while. I'll give him that. He like he like he's yarp. actually been a DM before. Yeah. Oh. That's what he does. He does that. He LARPs. I think it's kind of dumb, but he likes it. He's like, dude, I went to the freaking Renaissance Fair and it was a blast. I was like, okay, just leave your leave your man card at the table there. <laughs> hey, you can still be a nerd and be a man. Well. Aiden's just like... I guess LARPing's a little more manly than other stuff that he could be doing. Uh, I mean, at least you're, I mean, like, like, actually freaking combat, fighting yeah. people with swords. Like, I don't That's know how much good. more manly you can get than that. Like, if I'm in Squire armor or Crusade <laughs> armor, it doesn't matter. I'm still fighting people with swords. That is true. I'll give him that. One, two, three, four. Here, let's do a, a character alignment quiz. Okay. For each of us. And we'll just have to answer, answer for Spencer. Spencer. Yeah. That shouldn't be that hard. Uh -uh. Alright. Man, I, I remember when we were freaking doing like all these quizzes for like BuzzFeed. Way back <laughs> yeah, in the day. like what furry are you? <laughs> so that was. <laughs> what did you even get? I don't remember. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. Aiden's already made up his own thing <laughs> right now. Okay. Family, we'll, we'll do this one for you. Family elders are expressing disapproval of you to the rest of the family. Do you accept the criticism and change your ways? Seek a compromise? Besmirch the reputation of those expressing and, and ignore them? Or silence them any way you can? Uh, option two. Seek a compromise? Yeah. Okay. I just try to, like, logic my way out of the situation, I guess. Would you give up a promising career to aid the family in a time of need? Yes, immediately. Yes, with reluctance. Only if I was certain I'd be able to return to my career soon, or just no. Uh, option two again. Yes, with yes reluctance. With re I mean, obviously, I'd, I'd do the right thing, but I'd have to think about it first. <laughs> Would you betray a family member to advance your own career? 
yes without guilt, yes with secrecy, I'd resist the temptation, or I'd just find the idea abhorrent. Uh, three. I'd resist the temptation. Yeah. I'd be like, is that is that really worth it? Do you respect the leaders of your family? What do they even mean by the leaders of your family? Probably your freaking parents, weirdo. I guess. Their words guide my actions. They're role models for me. They're often out of touch with my life, or they're out of touch with the reality. Three. My parents don't know me as well as I think they do. At least my dad doesn't. Why are these all like... God, this is like 36 questions. Alright, well, we'll... I'll just, like, do this silently on my own. Okay. We'll read the questions off so the people can at least know there. If your family had arranged your marriage to someone loathsome, would you... Go through with it to serve your family? Agree, but hiding your reluctance? Subtly work against the union or just run? Run. <laughs> that was easy. I'm not marrying someone that I don't want to. You're estranged from a family member. On his deathbed, he seeks reconciliation. Do you speak to him but hold your ground? Refuse to speak to him? Discuss your estrangement openly? Or actively seek reconciliation and heed his dying words? Um, what was the question again? Uh, basically, a family member is on his deathbed that you don't like, and he's seeking redemption and reconciliation with you. I'd, I'd reconcile. Why not? I can't, come on, he's Actively dying. seek it or discuss it without... Actively seek it. Like, come on, he's dying. Okay. He's supposed to be... Have a little courtesy. A powerful but corrupt judge offers you wealth if you'll testify against your friend. Do you condemn your friend and take the money? Take the money and testify, but keep your testimony ineffective. Refuse to take the offer. Ooh, two, two, without question. Or testify in your friend's behalf. Two's the one where you get the money, but your testimony doesn't matter, right? Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just cheat the system. Do you become close to friends or hold most people at a safe distance? I like to become close to friends. Either do you have a few or do you have some? What does that a even few. mean? A few. A few's a lot shorter than, smaller than some. Like, a few's like three, some's like four or more. Okay, have you ever betrayed a friend? I've done so more than once, I've done so once, I've been tempted but never done it, or I could never think about it. I've probably done it more than once. <laughs> okay. How do you view your lifelong commitment to a single romantic partner? I want such a romance where you're just like... You have yes. one wife. Yes, yes, whatever the... Such a romance would be ideal if it's achievable... I'd worry I'd miss out on what others have to offer. Nope, or... already the first one. Okay. I, I'm, I'm in for the long game. I just gotta find the right girl. Do you insist on repayment to lending money to friends? Yes, and I write up a contract. <laughs> yes, but I try to be flexible. No, although it's nice to be repaid, and no, they just owe me a favor. Um, three. Like, you don't have to pay me back, but I prefer it. Are you still in touch with your childhood friends? Um, I still kind of am in my childhood, but if that's like elementary school, no. I don't know where they all went. So either no, I move around too much, or no, I don't have anything in common with them anymore. Oh, uh, no, I don't have anything in common. Do you donate your time and money to improve the local community? I mean, I help out with the church when they do stuff like that. So then, yes. Yes. Um... So either the needs of my community are my top priority, or I donate as much as I can once my own needs are met. Yeah, that one. Okay. Your community is threatened with invasion. Oh. Do you defend it to your last breath? Defend the area with the rest of your community? Flee as soon as things look grim? Or cut a deal with the enemy to act as the spy? <laughs> what? Um, what was two? Defend it with the rest of your community. Yeah, sure. Why not? You know. It's the end of the world as we know it. Why not go out in a bang? If you were injured and required immediate assistance, <laughs> would members of your home agree to help? Yes, because I know they do the same. Yes, because I'm well-liked. Probably not because I'm distrusted in my home. Oh, it's in your hometown, not your home. Oh. Um, I can see the members of Circleville helping me, at least, because I know of a few. Alright, I'll just put it as I'm generally well-liked. Yeah. Do you respect the laws and authorities of your communities? 
Yes, yes, without question. Yes, they're generally the best way to govern. When it suits me, there are some walls I don't agree with, or I Three. don't pay attention. I'm not the best at not speeding sometimes. <laughs> Do the members of your hometown shun, avoid, or mock you? No, what? <laughs> no, I'm seen as normal, or no, I set the standard for what's normal. No, I'm seen as normal. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why yeah, anyone would ever hard. mock me in my community. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, Dalton. Would you stand for office or seek to represent the interests of the community in a public manner? I feel like I have too much dirt on me already, so I don't think I would be able <laughs> to. He's gonna like pull up his horny Twitter. <laughs> Probably they're gonna find out that my news leaked in eighth grade. You know what? I was. Have you not heard about the story of no. where I got catfished? What? I got catfished by the popular <laughs> girls in school, and then they spread the pictures of everyone. It New Hope? Yeah. What the frick is wrong people with this school? People were brutal at New Hope, dude. I hated middle school. Dude, we never had anything close to that happening. I hate the current generation. Yeah, our, our, my class sucked. <laughs> well, it's still kind of bad, but now, like, barely anyone's in my class, so mm. it kind of evens out. All right. Still fighting monsters. So, um, only if no one else can handle the job, or no, I don't want to be responsible for the community's welfare. Yeah, probably the second one. Your country is racked with famine. Would you share the food you had with others? Eat as little as possible yourself and share the rest. Steal what food you needed to survive, or steal as much food as possible and sell it back to the community at a high price. Um three I'd, I'd steal what i need to survive it's, it's like the the age-old question would you steal a loaf of bread to feed your starving family yes <laughs> who would <laughs> not do that who would not do that there's there is no one morally superior enough to not do that if offered enough money would you slip a poison into your king's drink depends on how much money is that one of the options? Um, the options are, yes, I've done similar things before. <laughs> what? Yes, if I thought I could get away with it. No, although a vast sum of money would at least tempt me. And no, I would warn the king of the plot. Two. Why not? You know, if you could get away with it, you know, maybe the new leadership will be nice. A plague is sweeping across your country. Oh, no. This would sounds you... like we're playing D D D D. <laughs> <laughs> Would you undertake a dangerous mission to find the cure? Heal the sick the best you can. Avoid contact with the sick or flee the country. Dude, I do one. That'd be dope. That'd be like The Last of Us. Undertake a dangerous mission. Yeah. Dude, it's just like the video game. Dies <laughs> later, fucking dying in the street. I think it'd be fun. You know, why not go on an adventure that could change your life? Do you respect the lawful authority of the rulers of the land? Yes, long live the king. Yes, our rulers are generally fair and just. No, a ruler is no better than anyone else, or no, rulers are invariably corrupted by power. I mean, we live in America, where we really a we're a, a democracy, so I'm gonna pick three. Bottom text. <laughs> Alright. And I can make my own decisions here. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said we live in a society. So I said we live text. in a democracy. <laughs> we live in a democracy, lore inscription. Come on... If you were offered a reasonably lucrative deal, would you spy on a hostile foreign power? Yes, because the nation could stand down to be knocked down a peg. Nice! Now we can... Oh, wait on. a minute. No, it's would you spy for a hostile foreign power? So, like, would you spy oh. on America to get money? Um, hmm. What are the options? Yes, because the nation could stand to be knocked down a peg. Yes, yes, because the nation's secrets mean little to me. No, because I might get caught. No, because I'd never violate the trust my nation puts into me. Definitely three. Do you rely on the government to enforce contracts and property rights? Yes, because defending rule of law is more important than any individual dispute. Yes, because the courts are best equipped to handle the disputes. <laughs> oh. Hey! Okay. Sans is dead. That's not Sans. Anyway, continue. Um. Okay, so basically, do you rely on the government to enforce contracts and property rights? 
Yes, because maintaining rule of law is more important than any dispute. Yes, because the courts are best equipped to handle the disputes. Are you kidding me? The government can't even pave roads. <laughs> and absolutely one, not. I, if I can't defend it myself, I don't deserve to have it. Whatever the... They can't even do roads. Yeah. Okay. Although, I'll get sort of all this. They have paved two roads. Well, out of the, like, so, 300 in the thing. Hey, uh, hey, they're getting somewhere, though. I'll give them that. If imprisoned, would you injure or kill others to escape? Um... What are the options? Yes, serves them right for locking me up. <laughs> yes, they knew the risks when they took the job. No, except minor wounds that will heal easily. Or no, those guards are just doing their jobs. Um, what was the second option? Yes, they know the risks when they took the job. Um, no, I just do four. No, the guards are just doing their jobs? Yeah. Okay. Do you accept a noble's right to treat the serfs badly who work on his land? Now this is just D&D. &D. Well, okay, we'll <laughs> rephrase it then. Do you accept a... I understand it, but it's just kind of dumb. I mean, here, we'll, we'll rephrase it then. Do you, do you expect an authority's right to treat the workers badly? Um, an authority's right to treat the workers badly. Um, no. Definitely not. Why, why would I do that? Um, so the answer is yes, they're lucky that they're not slaves. Yes, because sometimes only fear will motivate them. No, people should rule as kindly as possible, and no one has any right to treat another badly. Uh, four. It's the morally right thing to do, I guess. You have accidentally committed a crime. Oh, do cool. you turn yourself in, <laughs> attempting to make restitution with the victim? Turn yourself in, throwing yourself on the mercy of the court? Hide your involvement, lying if you have to, or try to pin the crime on someone else? Uh, hide my involvement. If guilty, would you fest would you confess to a crime? Um, what are the options? Yes, because it is my duty to do so. Yes, because it might get me a lighter sentence. No, I'd make the magistrates prove my guilt. Or no, I'd try to prove my own innocence. Um, I'd try and prove my own innocence. Well, no, I, I'd, I'd want to get a lawyer, but that's probably the option I choose. What's well, flowy? What well, was? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Alright, once we uh, get... To the corridor, we're going to take a pee break before saying We only have, like, three more questions. Okay. Would you express a revolutionary political opinion if threatened with punishment? Yes. Would you rather be punished than remain silent, or somebody's got to do it? Um. Or no, I might privately express my opinion to my friends, though, or no, politics aren't wor worth getting worked up about. Well, I don't want to get religious, but... You know, with Christianity and stuff, that's kind of the whole point of our religion, so I choose the first one. Oh, wait, look in the look in the mirror. Woo. No, no, don't go in there. I'm talking to the man in the mirror. That's not what it should... Okay, whatever. It's okay. Alright, while traveling, you witness an assault. You're ordered to testify, which would delay your travel significantly. Do you slip out of town to avoid testifying, deny you saw anything, remain reluctantly, testify and then leave, or remain until the trial's conclusion in case any further testimony is needed? Oh, yeah, definitely the fourth one. Just be a, you know, just be a good person. What is the best use of wealth? To help the destitute and the less fortunate, provide the needs of family and friends, to stay on top of the heap, or to not only stay on top, but to keep others from climbing to your level. I'd say two. I feel like I've, I'm I'm already pretty generous with my money, so if I was rich, I'd, I'd say that I'd just be the same amount of generous. <laughs> okay. Just on a larger scale. Even though I made you buy my dinner today. Well. When confronted by beggars, do you give generously, give moderately, give what you wouldn't miss, or ignore them as you walk by? I typically ignore beggars. Okay. Oh, what the frick? Hmm. Okay, this is just straight up a D&D &D question, but just answer it anyway. By using magic, you could fool merchants into thinking your copper pieces were made of gold. Do you? Um, I mean, we're still technically giving them money. 
It's just a lot less. So sure. Oh, well, here are the options. Yes, and I'll buy as much as I can. Yes, but I'll only cheat the rich merchants. No, it's too risky. And no, those merchants have families to feed. Um, two. Are there any more questions? Three more. Okay. You have two job offers. One pays more, but the other is secure and steady. Which do you choose? Mm. What are the options? Definitely the lucrative job. Steady work sounds like drudgery. Probably the lucrative job, though I'd look into the more secure job. The secure two. job... Unless I don't need to hear the other ones. It's two. What is the best path to wealth? It's a matter of luck and being in the right place at the right time. Staying flexible so you can take advantage of good opportunities. Following a long-term plan that incorporates a comfortable level of risk or hard work and perseverance. Okay, Mr. Corey. Um, number one. The right place and right time really is how you can succeed. If you accepted a job or contract, would you try to finish the task even if it got much more dangerous? Yes, because my word is my word. Yes, because it's good to have the reputation for dependability. You better bet that I'd be re renegotiating, or if it's no longer a good deal, then the deal's off. Two. All I'm right. a man of my honor. You are neutral good. Hmm. Wow. I, 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 I feel that. I don't know how to interpret these results, but all right. Well, thank you for watching. I'll post my results in the description, and maybe Spencer will take the test as well. And, and we'll fight Sans next episode. All right. Thanks Bye. for watching.